Hey you guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking to you guys about my melting basket for next week. And um, as you guys know, we're doing a collab. So if you guys are interested in melting along with us, um, if you're doing one week at a time, if you're doing the whole collab, welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys join in. I have had so much fun watching you guys' videos and I'm um, reading your comments. I'm a little behind on my videos. Um, we went out of town last week, so, um, but I'm catching up. So um, this week um, is pop culture week. And so I wanted to say that I know that um, like having talked to some of my wax friends, like this is, um, has given people like anxiety and people have felt like, um, I don't have any sort of pop culture things. So, um, I'm going to read you the prompt and then I'm going to show you what I picked. So maybe that can give you some inspiration. So, um, just remember, like, this is not supposed to be about like having anxiety about picking the right things. It's just fun. And so, um, you know, if you think it fits cool, it fits right. So, Pop Culture Week is, um, I want to give the theme credit to Lori Brown. Last year, Lori um, used this as a theme and I loved it and I chose a basket from it and I thought it was really fun. So I thought it would be fun to put it in this collab. But this idea belongs to Lori Brown and I want to give her full credit for that because um, I'm not this creative. So Pop Culture Week. Vendors name blend some blends crazy things. There are movie references, popular books, Netflix series. Whether you know them or not, Melt anything that references something in pop culture. Bonus points for researching the reference. So um, I'm gonna show you what I pulled. Um, so I pulled Harry Potter. This is um, Ravenclaw Wit and Wisdom. Um, I obviously pulled this because um, pop culture, Harry Potter, right? Um, this one is like books and leather, I think. Um, White Elephant Exchange. Okay, so pop culture. For me, White Elephant Exchange is um, like a really popular Christmas type game. And so I think that counts. Um, and then I picked um, two other White Elephant Exchange blends. So this one is Cotton Candy White Elephant Exchange. And this is Sweet Cream Coffee House White Elephant Exchange. So it's going to be a White Elephant Exchange day. Um, okay, and then Strax Acid Bath. Um, this is just like the oils a little bit. So I don't know. I love this one. Um, so I don't know the reference of Strax Acid Bath, but I think it has something to do with um, a TV show, um, but I don't know. Um, I did Corpse Bride, which is um, blueberry, pumpkin patch, cranberry, macaron, and whipped cream. So Corpse Bride is a movie. Um, and then I did The Midnight Ride. Um, which is also a movie. Um, so I felt like those were all, um, those all met the theme. Um, I did Goodnight Moon from Rose Girls. This is Pink Sugar, Lavender, Peppermint, and Birthday Cake. Um, Goodnight Moon is a book, so I felt like that counts. I did More Cowbell, which I think is very pop culture. So that is from Saturday Night Live. Um... I did um, Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. Okay, so the reason that I picked Cookie Land is when they do Rose Girls um, Mario Melters, they always do that, like Cookie Land stuff. And so, like, originally I thought that Cookie Land was possibly, like, part of her just house blends, but maybe it's a Mario thing. I'm not sure. So, whatever. That's where we're at. The Veil. I do know where this is from. This is um, from um, Lord of the Rings. No, Game of Thrones, sorry. Uh, um, Hundred Acre Woods. And this is Chestnut, Sandalwood, Marshmallow, Fireside, and Vanilla. This is um, Hundred Acre Woods is Winnie the Pooh. And then you, David. Um, this is from um, Schitt's Creek. Um, this is Tom Ford, Tobacco Vanilla, and um, Palo Santo. Love that one. Rosemary's Baby is a movie. Um, and this is um, Bedtime Bath, Rosemary, Fresh Mint, and Herbal Lavender. It's a good one. Okay, Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Um, I know that that might not sound like a pop culture reference, but there is this song that my children sing that goes, 
peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time like there's a Harry Grip song or something I don't know so and then Cinderella's gown like so I'm thinking you know the movie um and um then I did Voorhees Vendetta which is a uh, coral reef sea kelp and grass um so Voorhees is like Jason Voorhees from the Jason movies and then Mornings at Crystal Lake, also from the Jason movies, um, Barnwood, Fire Roasted Marshmallow, Coffee Addiction. I did Dessa's um, Mad as a Hatter, which is um, black chai tea, orange zest, and orange almond crumpets. So like Mad as a Hatter, like Alice in Wonderland. Um, and last but not least, I did Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. This one smells really good. Um, birch and black pepper with a hint of Bartlett pear. It's really good. Um, I did, I pulled Grimes. I've never melted this before and I don't know the sit notes, but Grimes is the guy that, the girl that's married to Elon Musk or not married or, you know, partnered. I don't know. I don't know what they are, but Grimes is, is her. Um, and it's a coffee blend. So, um, and I think it's like apple and coffee. It's interesting. And then I did vanilla ice. I, love this scent um does it have the scent notes no but it's just creamy pepperminty scent i love it super good i don't know why somebody didn't take this out of the round robin they were dumb because i love vanilla ice i'm so glad that i got to me because i had melted the last of mine anyhow vanilla ice you know ice ice baby so that is what i picked um so don't let this week freak you out if you are like i'm just not into this this does not speak to me i don't have anything whatever skip it. But I challenge you that if you look through your stash, you will find stuff that, um, is, that fits the theme. So, um, I feel like any of the licensed bars from Sensi would work, right? Because all of them are related to a movie. Um, a lot of, um, a lot of vendors, I think particularly Super Tarts has, has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that is named after people, music, that kind of stuff. VCS has a lot of stuff that references movies or pop culture things. Um, you know, I'm thinking like Martha and Snoop, right? Stuff like that. Um, so lots of that, you know, um, she has a lot of openings. Like right now I think she's having a Billie Eilish one. She's had Taylor Swift, you know, Britney. So all of those are pop culture-ish. -ish. Um, let me think of who else is a, you know, um, Lurid has had a lot of openings that are like referencing things like that are are pretty pop culture ish. So, um, and L three always has you know um, while they have a lot of like just blended scents, they do have a lot of things that reference um, movies and um, and collections of things like that. So um, those are the ones like off the top of oh and Rose Girls. So Rose Girls doesn't usually but i think all of the mario stuff meets um that dessa's um for me uh, like a lot of the stuff i have is her main street memories um which is all like related to um disney and so i think all of that is pop culture um i'm trying to think through my vendors um you know i think those are the big vendors that i can think of sort of just off the top of my head that are um, you know, like really easy to pick pop culture from, but, um, oh, and Britta's. Britta's names almost everything after like a movie, um, or some kind of like scary theme, which I think is, um, easy to, to get a pop culture. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like I have a really good, um, mix here. I did, um, I have been trying to like pull from like my half used stuff if it meets the theme, because I, like when it, we get to the last week where it's like, use it up, I, my bin is so full that I'm not sure that I'll be able to get through everything if I don't um, start like pulling a little bit from there. So you will see some things that like I've kind of already melted in other weeks during this or the previous collab. Um, but that's just because I'm, I'm trying to be like true to not putting those things back in my collection and using them up. Um, Jenny, I think you should do it. I think you'll feel good about not um, re-filing um, your things. Um, so I saw that in your video and um, it 
like it helps my anxiety. So I'm going to give it to you. If you think it's good, try it out. So anyways, um, I hope you guys join us. I am having so much fun with the collab. I'm having so much fun talking to you guys and meeting new people. Um, you know, the wax community is, um, for the most part, just really lovely. And so I've just had so much fun. So anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.